So we're in the middle of the Ha'ore Rav. <clears throat> Just a point of clarification. I don't know why it was confusing. It's Poshit. But when again, what these Ha'ores are, so these are the, the Bossi Lagani was said a Friday night, and B, it was also in the Shabbos morning, I met. Tzitkas Pirzoinoi, which was a chona to, as you said, Bossi Lagani. Now they don't have either of them, but what the Rebbe said in those two Maimorim, which add to this Maimor, that's what is added to in the text below. So the first two Maimorim, meaning of the first two, the Maimor Friday night and the Maimor Shabbos day. Okay, so in Oizavav he said, adding to what he says that the Oitzer is Komos Vachosun, Me'in Kol Roya, no one sees it other than the king. So it's higher than any Giloi, even the highest Giloi. So he started to say in Oizavav, we'll, stop, we'll, we'll do it again just to get the flow. So it's understood that since we're given the Oitza, which is higher than all Giloi, so therefore, even if the Avoida is at the highest level of Giloi, but Einze must be Kadain. Again, Giloi means inspiration, experience. <clears throat> Because as she calls her in Shalad Vigili, that's still all air and giloi. If you give him Shmala Milo and him Shekhin Nile, you submit Vigiloi. Since we're getting something higher than Giloyim, then revelations, Tzarechli is Gamkin the Mata, so we have to do the same. Shari Tzadikim, Dim Lebeiro. We have to reflect the Abisha that Tzadikim, referring to all Yidden, are similar to their Creator. So if you know a little bit, why doesn't he say Pashat? Because the whole reason we're given the Oitzar is to be that manafish. Why does he have to mention Sadikim Demim Lebeiram, which is in another context, really? Don't know. So why? Because even the highest level of Sadikim. Not the gum, sorry. When the avoid is a pitam vedas, it is a bitsir and bitsir shaloi. It's still his bitsirs. It's his uh, self. She's saying, you know, that's oir. Oir means feeling self. Therefore, these avoiders talk a very lofty avoiders, are not enough. And what's Bechol Meitchas, the Gemara says in Brachas, the Dafke then, Sheba Vedezu Dafke, Nekras, Oisin Ritzayin Hashem Makim. That's called making the will of Hashem. Doing the will of Hashem. Which actually is the Deek in Chassidus, that we actually make the Rats. That's not uh, what he's going into now. Which, what is this Avedah? Shoin Yinam Mesedes Nefesh, that's Avedah Mesedes Nefesh. Vaidzois, Furthermore, the avoid the mitzvah that's a manifest that's necessary. As a parallel, he's saying now to what is given above, which is the oitzer milamayla hayden giluyim. So the oitzer is not the point to it. We need to appreciate is shein yinze holirak bepchinas mahadrin min mahadrin. It's not just, well, this will augment it, make it a, even a better Avoida. The Avoida without Mesides Nefesh is Avoida. But if with Mesides Nefesh, then the Avoida is, it's, it's enhanced. Mahadrin, Mina Mahadrin, even. He says, no. Elishinigye, it's not enhancement. It's without it, all is lost. Shinigye, Yavadorosh, Bishwal Nitzach, and Mechama, Neged Lumazeh. The Avoida Mesides Nefesh is required for the victory. And anything short of that will not achieve a victory. Now, what does he say is a, is a non-victory? The worst, the biggest failure is what, is what he's about to say. Shari Zeus, without the Avadim Mesides Nefesh, Yoch li sin shalumazeh besuga yesetacht. There can be the opposite of Kedusha in its lowest form. What is that? 
It's possible, God forbid, that with the Koyach of Torah, he says that which is contrary to Torah. So that he says is the Suga Yosetacht in the lowest category. Why? Because he's using Torah itself, abusing Torah. That's worse than just Tam Klippe. And yeah, this we're up to in the brackets. Hey, pechinyu the kerl mechatzim. The the words kerl mechatzim, bein mishavim. These are the opening words of the pasuk tzidkas pizroinay. You recall the pasuk the pshati, in the pasuk is <clears throat> that instead of being afraid, mechatzim <clears throat> means the adversary, because of the noise that's created when drawing the water. The hoofs on the stones, the pebbles. So instead of that, Sitkas Pizroinoi, now free of Sisera, you're not living in open cities without fear. Pasha the Pshat. The Medr says on Mechatzim, it seems that Mechatzim, and the Medr touches it as in a positive way, this. And it seems it's rooted, the Pirisha Medr is rooted in Mechitza. An idea of a division. So what's the Mila? He's saying now, he just finished saying that the lowest form of Lumaze is the exploitation and the abuse of Torah. The opposite of what? Kerl Machatzim, as explained in the Madrash. Again, it seems it's based on this Machatzim Lashem Mechitze, meaning these are the ones who, who learn Torah in such a way that they make the proper divisions, the proper boundaries. What's Tomei is Tomei, and Torah is Torah. Now, the bad, this is, looks like his own diak and very a fascinating one. No, maybe not. It's from the Medrash. Oh, it's also in the same Medrash. What's the indication that we machaven to the, the embers of Torah when you're in the Bain Meshabim? Which means when they draw the water literally, what does it mean here? In the, in the light of the Medesh, if you're giving water to others and others benefit and are nourished by a Torah, that's the indication that it's emes. Tomei is Tomei and Torah is Torah. So he's saying that without Mesiris Nefesh and Seichel of the highest level, this could be, could lead to the opposite of Kedusha in the lowest way in Torah Guf, be using and abusing Torah. He concludes his, the word, the Kivin Shalim saying Seichel Bilvad, if his approach is the highest level of Giluyim, I understand it, and it's Seichel, then Yochel Daik Besichle Heipach Torah. He can have, with his intelligence, a conclusion which is absolutely contrary to Torah. Therefore, the avoid of Giluyim is not enough. And how do we achieve the victory? Over the Lumaze, internally and externally. It has to be hiding in Seichel, Shina Mesiris Nefesh. Now continuing. Vihinei. Hindi continues the summary of Vasilagani, leading us to Pedigudalit. What's the highest level of Giloi? Is what Giloi is only so faintly tachless. A revelation that has no end and no fathoming. This is what he brings in the Maimer from the Tikkuni Zoya. is above endlessly. and below Adin Tachlis without fathoming means also an end. Tachlis means the end. What's the end game? The end line. There is no end game. Or end, end of the Eir. 
the oldest is explained at length in the previous Maimarim, particularly last year. So they were calling here, referring to Likus as Eir, moving, we're not talking that. We mean revelation. Trying to get that her eye, the whole we say light, so it means by definition gilly revelation. That's on the one hand. On the other hand, that we're bubble ain't gilly stam. It's not stam a revelation, which has definition. It's an infinite revelation. Shulamail in the words of the Zoyar. Shulamail adin ket shulamat adin tachlis. Masbir gaidle nishbaze. Fidigreb explains the the gaidle in the greatness of this revelation. Heichel begins. How does he begin his explanation? Heichel mehabiyor ba'ingin delamata din tachlis. He starts with that Eden Saf descends all the way down here without limit, and we explained that was there was a word that we were trying to understand the riba and Ivraim adin tachlis adin kets. Are they relieved? So the question was, could they truly be infinite creatures and creations? But nonetheless, that was the statement. Now, how does Zion, not Zion, but this is again, so Zion means something that was said either Friday night or Shabbos day. Behind those, Avshalosh, there's a medayik, he's me, Mazbir, why they figured up starts with the second half of the quote, not the first half. Behind those, Shalosh, and my Marazoid is, first of all, the my Latin cats. The ascent without end. Then the Zayar says Lamata din Tachlis. So why does the Fidi Rebbe begin his beard with Lamata din Tachlis? Because Malkin explains the Rebbe Levayri Maktim Levayri Ingin Lamata din Tachlis. He explains first the way the Enisaf its reach, the extent of its reach without end. Mishum Shingin Zenegiyah Yisel Avoid. Because that's Monegiyah Tavoid. That's our world. That's what we can see the Enisaf. And then by explaining the way it is down here, other he's not compromising cats. He's giving us a deeper appreciation. Because Yuvan Yasra Ilu the Mailadin Kets doesn't explain why. But by understanding the Eloi of the descent, we'll understand greater the Eloi of the ascent. And therefore, it's understood. If this is the greatness, the afla of the Eir in Saf, the Matad in Tachlis, and therefore, the Maila Adin Ketz in Pashtus, in order to, to reach lower, you need a higher source, right? As the general cloud. So, still, this is all to say it doesn't come to the Eitzah. This zem uvim mikolshkein goyl ma'ilis a oitzer shal ma'ilim min a gilu yoyer in sof the oitzer that is given to every yid so oitzer sheir shemayim so this is all to appreciate how great this is as a result of appreciating oid in sof lamata adin tachlis or the ma'ilim adin kets now back into the the high no. Ad. So again, getting the flow. So it must be well, up to. The second mime in the, in the contrast. And we are. One, two, three, four, the fourth, the final paragraph of Ayus Aleph. Six or seven or eight, ten lines in by the number ches, letter ches. So, again, so he starts with the beer of Inyam in Lamata in Tachlis, the Haino, and the Madriga Yese Matamata, she was said, the Stalshalos, that Erdil, that the Erdin self descends to the lowest level of Stalshalos, Boilam Haze, a Tachtan Shoilam Masia. This is the big ill of the air in soft, it's present in Elam Asir. Uba Elam Asir, Gufu Lerak, Yonne, Kdushi, and Yarishushabai.
So let me get one thing straight here. Yeah, the, the Gosha here is what the, defining the matter. Defining the matter. That's what he's saying now. So what is the matter? Elam and not just Elam uh, in Yonik Dusha and Yonik Rishus, Elagam Yenak Klippers, Shagam Heim Kshurim in Beilam Asiyah. Klippers are also part of this world. We say the Mizem Moreover, I feel in Yonim Shem Lamatim Aklipa. There's things even lower than Klippa. What's that? That's a person when he chooses to do wrong. Mivu Betan Yeshod the Machaytei Melatzeni is Borech. Person who sins and transgresses, they wish this will go through. Who pachas habi ma'ed masit revaklipa achre, vaklipa. He's he's worse and much lower, exceedingly than sit and klipa sit rachne klipa. Who can maime, as the Gemara says, it's in Hedrin. Person was created last, so it depends what that means. If he does what he should, last means. Best, like someone invited to to the king's feast after it's all done, or it could mean least. Kamaime, you'd be say to the person then. Maybe she says to the person, Yitush God even the lowest net preceded you. Why is he even lower? Given Shaklipa, the Malas Atafke Shalakach Nivra, the Klipa fulfills its purpose. Vainaloyra Kina Klipa. Shishim Meres Lapri. There's two dargas of Klippa. There's one level of Klippa that it protects the fruit. What does that mean? Baruchni is, it means by giving, by, by having obstacles, so then our observance is deeper. But then there's more. There's a low level of Klippa, Elagam Yenak Klippa Kefishim Meishis Mephata, not just an obstacle, that's Tipas Neige. But then there's Klippa, again, Klippa Satmeis, which seeks, which seeks to seduce to transgress. But Dugmas Azoinis is Shesokra Melech, like the Moshe brought in the Zoya brought in Tanya, of the Zoina, the harlot, the king high is Kdele, the Fatis is Ben Amelech. So even this lowest level of clip is doing what the king wants. She's hired to seduce him. So this lowest level of clip and Mamish, the ones. Seeks to seduce a ye to do hey perchatz in Hashem. So it's still the the point is carrying out Hashem's will. My shinkin achaytev oivet al tzayin is borech, but to transgress, how do you lament him? Is that God said don't? He is. Clip is doing what God says to do. So therefore, he's even lower. And he said before, exceedingly lower than the lowest clip. So this could be also his what is his sin? His sin is either he's doing outright sins or he's doing permissible things, but in an indulgent way, which is also clipper. But he says, he said before, <laughs> the lowest kind of clipper, the worst choice is the abuse of trade itself. That's even lower. There's a way even lower. And he uses Kedusha in order to do the opposite, as explained before, beginning of this ice. That a pustim was put at Selim in the Hechel. That's the Indian. In the Hechel, there's a Selim. So he's in Eilam HaToyra, but he uses Toyra. Chman l'tzla, and to come to conclusion, hey, pechratz an alien. Shezel, mukem Moshe Aleches Baruch Hashem Melech, like he says in Tanya, it's like taking the head of the king, umarid elamata, and he drags it down, v'toim et panav v'seich, and he and he and he forces his face in, and kivishem esayim b'tan, like he concludes in Tanya, that doesn't want to say the words, but there he says there, forcing the king's face into a. Uh, into excrement. That's what he says in the Ma'am. With Torah, using a seichel, he says something which is Hei Pechat Torah. 
This is also part of the matter matter. And the point being, it's not so much the Hadgosha. The height of the Vart is, I have to see there again, but it's all to bring out the mile of the Oitzer, which is not, which is higher than the Oitzer of the mile of the Oitzer of the Matam Adin and Tachlis. So this brings out the flaw, the flaw of the Oitzer of that it can produce and dragged into such a mata mata, so it shows its reach, its limitlessness. And all of this is to bring out, as he said now, the flaw of the oitzer, which is higher than all giluyim, which demands the avayda of, he said, mesidas nefesh b'chol ba'itcha. Now at this point we should learn now the fitig rebbe's ois, which the rebbe is now going to address. So let's do it. Go back to the beginning of the very kuntras. Respect all of the above. The past success, you enliven everything. So he's saying now that all the way down, Lady Tzof is creating even a matzah of, of the abuse of Torah. Let's learn the OCS here. So the order of the reflection, actually, the early key is drawn to create and to enliven all creations by in the Can this be given as a kedush simon chav? Like he says in Tanya, the order, the order, the order, the reflection, reflection, reflection. So this is the Chai Saliki that's drawn and which creates and sustains all creations. Or Kamaima, as it says, this is a Gemara. The Debishta Zona Mafarna is the Debishta. I've got the post. But anyway, he, he nourishes, he Mafarnas and sustains Mikanya Aimim. This means a very big creature, as she says. Ad Beitse Kinim, small. Uh, Beitse literally means the, uh, the eggs, but it's not. It means just these, it's the name of the creature, this tiny. Uh, Tiny flea, tiny net. So all of them, from the largest to the smallest. That the key. This is the Eden Sof again. So it's drawn down and creates even the lowest forms of life. As the Pasuk says, I will ascend the heaven, So that's Adin Ketz. If I will spread my my grave in uh, spread my bed in the grave, atzia means to put out the, the blanket. Shail in the grave in the depth. Hineko, behold it to you. is burning us. So what's this all intended? Vata machayas kulam. So this is these boninus. Gedoyla, okay, the great is Bonanus, okay, Begedoyla Savai in the greatness of Avai, Shimsha, the whole Seder Stalshus that is present and drawn all of his Stalshus, Madrege, Madrege, from level to level, Ad Madrege Sabruyim, I used to shvail him to the very lowest creations. Michael is called Odom, the Odom, Gamma Poshet, the Yosef Ledazos. And this is something that everybody, even the simplest person, can know. Shereik Dula Savayad receives the greatness of Hashem. This is the veil of the Alter Rebbe in Torah. This is all, the Fidget Rebbe is referring to this earlier, this Maimed. Being God Lavayad, Bidalekena, great is God, Bidalekena, where do you see? The Gedula Savaya in the city made up of all of these components and Ribi Pratim, Ribi and Ivraim from the great numbers 
of creations, Iralikeno, that's where we see the greatness of the Abishta. So looking at the 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 huge virtually limitless components of creation and their integration and so on, he sees even the simplest person sees the greatness of the creator. And this is bondness creates a great excitement in the in the person. The fact that we can actually see, look at creation and see its wonder and its uh, vastness and complexity. And why is that? Because since the earth is essentially infinite, even its lowest incarnate, which is an Elam Haza, we see infinite. That was the point that he said. We see the infinite creations. Al Kain ain'ts of Gamkin is Pashtusoy. God lavai bitterly can we see that there's no end to its manifestation, even in its lowest incarnate. Even there we see what? Bleakful. Bribe madregis vishtalshalas at the mata mata, the many levels all the way down to the very lowest mamish. And yet, wherever this is not seen by everybody now, is a statement of fact. That every place, every level that the Eidin Sof is present, producing and creating what it creates, ain't to be spyless, the Eidin Sof it itself remains unchanged. Vishtanas Klal, unchanged. It's the only part which he needs to be misbeinen. This is not so much for the Pashat Shripshutim, who just looks at, at creation, is, is awed. But he's explaining now the Emes. The Emes is that the Abish is unchanged, notwithstanding his extraordinary uh, uh, creations. The Likus invested in creation is unlike the soul in the body. The Nisham is affected from what happens to the body. He put fire to the finger, the person is affected. Avaloida Liki, person, the Nefesh. It fuses with the body and therefore becomes limited by the body. Not so the Eirin Sof, but the Eirin Sof, which creates, he puts interesting, first Machai and then Machai, first Machai and then Machai. For a reason, I don't know, but definitely a Diyuk. Eirin is spelled Vein, Mishtana Klal, in Pashtas. Anyway, because he's talking here about the Islapshus. The Islapshus is the Machaya. So even that level of Machaya is not be spyless. Notwithstanding it's Machaya. It enlivens. Just to create can be distant from the creation, just bringing it into being. Machaya means invested. Even there there's no spyless. There's no change. So there is a change because every creation has its own properties. Now what gives it its properties? That's the oil. So there is a change. How are we saying there's no change? He now addresses that. This is a huge subject in Kabbalah actually. Let's begin it. And that which there is a change. What is the change? Being invested does cause a change. And Varaya, it's creating different things with different properties. So he says, This is a lower manifestation, which would be termed not oil, but koyach. Do you do okay? This is a whole sugya, so we will not attempt to explain too much because they will do that for us, I assume. But uh, we'll just try and get the words and, and the union as clear as we can. Uh, we've, we we have learned about Erkech recently. You you remember a couple of months ago? No. Remember the examples he gave? With a person. 
Is it my lady Kaya? It's Kaya you giving of yourself. Oh, it is your just presence. You have an effect by your presence. Kaya is when you're investing in someone. Oh, you're an example just by being who you are. And Kaya is a Dalachashpa. Invested and through Kayach, a person becomes exhausted and changed and affected. So he's going to say that there is a dog and the kus which is talking b'shem Kayach, where there is a change. As we're going to say, Beis Hashem um, on Monday, right? Be continued. Okay, Jeff. Thank you, brother.